Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video talking about getting your Kama AI unit working on a Honda 2022 CRV hybrid. If we go to the compatibility list on the Kama's website under Honda, you'll actually notice that under compatibility, it's a 2020 to 2022 is actually listed as not compatible or rather not listed at all. Um, however, I actually have been able to get my Kama 3 unit working, fully working on this vehicle. Uh, and I'll talk about in this video how I was able to get, get that to work. And I'll kind of share that information with you just so that you guys can kind of uh, do this on your end and get your cars up and running. As I know that there's not a lot of information out there for for this. And I think one of the best things that we can do is if we learn something about how we can get something working that it's important to share it so that the rest of the community can also take advantage of this so let's start by talking about what we're going to need in order to make sure that the comma system works on our vehicle specifically the 2022 honda crv hybrid so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the shop uh, and what you're, what you're going to need to get is a comma 3 or a comma 3x unit. Now I currently have a comma 3 that's fully up and running and working perfectly fine on my CRV hybrid. I do have a comma 3x that I'm currently trying to make compatible with my 2023 Honda Pilot um, and there's still some ways to go about it but uh, I can guarantee that the comma 3 unit works uh, a comma 3x I'll probably try at some point and see if it works but if you do have a comma 3x give this a try and see if you can get this to work if you have a comma 3 then it's going to work for sure. So let's assume you have a comma 3 or a comma 3x. What you're going to also make sure that you have is a harness connector, a harness box, an ODBC cable. Um, and the harness connector that you're going to need for this is this one right here. It's called Honda Bosch A connector. It's 100 bucks. This is the connector that's going to be compatible with your 2022 Honda CRV hybrid. So once you have this connector, make sure you have your harness box, make sure you have your ODBC cable. Now what's very interesting about this is that you're actually not going to need a comma power unit or an RJ45 cable. And I believe that this is actually the reason as to why comma officially does not support uh, this vehicle uh, because if you were to plug this into a standard vehicle that is compatible with comma this actually connects to your ODB unit in the car and reads the car's fingerprint letting the comma system know which vehicle you're driving uh, and ensure that that vehicle's compatibility is fully available on the comma system. However, if you were to plug this into your hybrid vehicle, it actually doesn't do anything. The other function of this is to give your comma additional power while the vehicle is turned off. Um, and even though the vehicle is off or on, this will not work at all. Typically, you'd plug this in, you'd plug it in the RJ45 cable in here, you would snake this cable all the way up to your mirror and connect it to your comma unit um, and get it up and running. And every time you turn on your car, your comma kicks in right away and allows you to start driving. However, with the hybrid vehicle, specifically the CRV, what will happen is, regardless of whether or not you have this plugged in, it will not power the comma unit whether the car is on or off. So all of the power to the comma will come from the ODBC cable and the harness box itself. So 
with these three pieces and your comma unit, you should have everything you need to make your system fully functional with the hybrid CRV 2022. Now, once you have that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to plug in your comma unit at home to a USB cable to power it on. Before you plug it into your car, plug it in at home to a USB cable, power it on, load into the comma. Um, I'm assuming you're going to have open pilot. Uh, so load into open pilot and on open pilot, what you want to do is you want to navigate into settings and you want to click on the software and fully delete open pilot from the comma unit completely delete it let it reboot and when the system boots back up it's going to ask you to enter a URL in order to install open pilot now open pilot is not compatible with your Honda 2022 CRV hybrid so what you're gonna do instead is you're gonna navigate to this link here and I'll drop all these links in the video description and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install Sunny Pilot onto your unit. Now, the reason why you want to do this specifically is because uh, when you get a standard open pilot, what it requires you to do is it requires you to have that ODB comma power box plugged into the ODB uh, port because this is where it gets the vehicle signature and identity to tell the unit which vehicle you're driving. However, Sunny Pilot actually created profiles for all of those vehicles that are compatible in Open Pilot and allows you to manually choose which vehicle you're driving uh, rather than having it be read through an ODB. And this is the key factor to making comma compatible with the 2022 CRV hybrid. So what you want to do is you want to go to this site, you want to scroll down to where it says uh, installation, you want to expand that out and you're going to see where it's a, a, a little spot that says URL easy. Okay. Now this is where you're going to want to follow these instructions to install Sunny Pilot onto your system. Essentially, all you need to do is put in this little URL. When it's asking you for that URL, you just type this in and let it install. Once Sunny Pilot is fully installed onto the unit, you'll actually be able to go into the settings of Sunny Pilot and you'll be able to choose your vehicle in order to uh, make it work. So rather than choosing the, the use of comma power with the RJ45 cable, you're going to choose the vehicle from a list. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to the car where I'll show you what it looks like in the car and we'll also go for like a quick little drive. So as you can see down here, we're not using the ODB wire. Now, once you're in, what you want to do is before you turn anything on and before you wire anything up, what you should do is plug it into a USB wire somewhere other than the, the main cable. And the reason why is because when you turn the car on with the main cable, what will happen is you will not have the settings that you're gonna need to modify in order to get this in its proper form. So let's turn the car on and take a look at this stuff. So here you can see it loading.
takes a while to load. But once it's loaded, we'll be able to see all the features that we need to see. All right, now that it's loaded, let's take a look at the what's going on here. So the first thing you wanna do is go into the settings and go into the toggles. Make sure enabled Sunny Pilot is turned on. Okay, you don't really need to do anything else here. Go into the software, make sure that it's fully up to date. In the Sunny Pilot settings, make sure you enable the MADS feature, which is a really good feature. Under the vehicle, this is where you want to be. This is the main feature. Click into the vehicle. And if you look at the top right corner, this is actually where you get to pick your vehicle. Now, in order to make the CRV 2022 hybrid work, I've picked the Honda CRV hybrid 2017 to 2019. Once that's selected, make sure it's selected properly. It may actually reboot the unit. But once it's there and everything is fully selected, you should be able to pull the wire out. Okay, and there's a little light here. Make sure that that light completely goes out before plugging it back in because sometimes it'll take longer to load if you leave that on. So we'll wait. There you go. And then once it's out, all you have to do is plug it in. And we'll do that now. All right, now that the unit's plugged in, let's turn the car on and see what happens when it loads. And then we'll be ready to take this out for a test drive. get our belts on because safety is always priority good to go so this is the one problem when you don't have it connected to the ODB port is every time you turn the car on you have to wait that long for it to go now you can see the unit is up and running and in order to engage it, what you want to do is you want to press the main. Once you press main, it will actually, you can see there, you'll see the ACC LKS on. Turn it off, turn it back on to show you. And you'll notice that on the unit, it'll actually have a blue border around it when you turn it on, denoting that it's on. So now you can see it's on. Uh, my recommendation for this is not to use it on sharp turns and or if you're backing out of a driveway and if you're just driving generally around town. And the reason why is because typically when you're making a turn, what happens is when you turn the steering wheel on the vehicle, as you're making the turn, the steering tends to turn back into its proper place, helping you kind of steer the way you're supposed to steer. However, when the unit is on, it'll actually lock the steering wheel and you kind of have to force it back. It's something to get used to. So be very mindful and be very careful of that. So try not to have it turned on while you're doing things like backing out or whatever it is you're doing. So now we're gonna back out and you'll be able to see how this works on the road in real time. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna start driving and I'll start engaging the system. There it is, it's now on and it's doing all the steering for me, as you can see. But here's the problem, is if it doesn't detect the lanes, you're gonna have an issue 
Also, if you notice, when I make a turn here, on a sharp turn, the steering stays that way and the car keeps turning. So you have to make sure that you don't typically use it unless you know exactly how to properly use it with sharp turns and turns into streets and things like that. So now we're gonna go into this little uh, highway. And here you'll be able to see how the car performs. So I can totally let go. I'm still pressing the gas and the brake because the MDADS allows you to, to do that. And you can see that the car will also change lanes for me as well. But there you go. Honda CRV 2022 hybrid, fully working with no issues whatsoever. Now, if I wanted to engage the braking and accelerating, I simply press the set button and now it's doing the accelerating braking for me as well as steering. So pretty much full self-driving. And there you have it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll try and give you an answer. If you can't get your system up and running, let me know. We'll try to help you out as much as I can. All right, guys, thanks.